G'day everyone, Alex McKellar here, back once again for Infinite Racing Services to do another lap guide in conjunction with Christian Perez, current Sunday Night Lights champion, came back and won the first race again this week for round one at Oran Park, so pretty good study to to go off, but uh, yeah, pardon my voice, a bit crook at the moment with a sore throat, and I might be a bit rusty for these as well, so you'll have to pardon me while I get back up to speed. But for now, let's uh, let's start by taking a look at Christian's lap. We'll just pause it there for a second, grab the quick lap. It was a 136.835, as you can see on the screen at the moment. Let's uh, let's dive in and watch the lap before we break it down. All right, and that's our lap. Apologies, had the volume a bit loud there, a bit soft there, but uh, that's that's where we're at. All right, let's um, let's chuck up the um, whoop, uh, car number. There we go. Let's chuck up this lap and take a look. Of course, we're on the front straight here to begin the lap. Just as you cross the line, um, you'll see the the boards start coming up ahead of you here. So on the approach here, we're uh, flat out in uh, in fourth. All right, we don't quite get to fifth. You might get there on the odd occasion with draft if you're lucky. Worth noting, this is a passing opportunity as well. You might be two by two through here, so be prepared to practice multiple lines through here. It is a legit passing opportunity, depending on the on the run you get out of the the final corner there at uh, turn 15. So we're going to come into the braking zone here. And just sort of halfway between the two and the one board, you can see Christian's applying the brake. He's dro he's probably sitting at about, uh, let's call that, oh, it's about 45%. And what I noticed interestingly here with Christian, he's braked relatively early uh, by comparison, turned in quite early, and he's got a lot of rotation. You can see the rear of the car immediately uh, rotating quite heavily. And you can see already that he's straightened up the wheel and is going to look at a bit of counter steer. Quite a significant bit. So he's really attacked this corner um, after an early turn in. Counter steer quite hard. Down into third gear. Now, you can kiss this ripple strip quite hard. Think about uh, lowering your SPO this week uh, to get a little bit more height in the front of the car to avoid damage on a couple of the curbs here. But it's worth your, worth your time kissing that curb on the inside. And you're running out to, now you can see Christian's only making it probably, oh, I want to say, close to, a little bit up, 50% close to two thirds uh, of the way to the right hand side of the track on the exit of turn one. Uh, you can afford to run a bit further wide. Think about that in the context of going two by two. If you're on the outside line, you can go a bit further to the right if you need to. Be wary of the grass on the outside, though, as that'll, uh, that'll make a nasty uh, <laughs> a nasty exit to turn one, that's for sure. Recoverable if you're quick, but at the early stages of the race, 
uh, in traffic in particular, it's uh, yeah, it can have nasty results. But you'll see what I mean. See, Christian now to open up turn two hasn't come that back that far back to the left hand side of the circuit to to open it up. So uh, when I say you only you can go further out, you still have time to sort of come back to open up turn two enough. And even if you're in a battle and a little bit further to the right, it's still okay. So as we turn into the sweeping turn two and three here, it's counted as uh, two separate corners. You can see Christian still wrestling with carrying a lot of speed through here uh, and the stability of the car. Trying to hug the inside as much so you can see, you know, you might think about taking a late apex, but given that it's a, it's a double apex right-hander when you think about it, well, it's actually two turns rather than just the one. Uh, you, when you talk about late apex here, it's really right through to the end of the corner here that you're thinking about hugging it. But reduce your track distance. Stay inside the... Um, the tar line there you can see the black line in the center of the circuit there if you're staying inside there um, you're minimizing your track distance at the same time as maintaining a good speed throughout the corner now Christian briefly through here flicks down to second to sort of manage the rotation stabilize the car a bit however you can run this through in third gear as well if you're more comfortable some people like the lower gears some people prefer the higher in terms of how they stabilize the car through corners like this but it's only a short brief period in second gear before he comes up to third to exit the corner you can be a little bit further to the right there and kiss that curb on the inside if you like otherwise you just run it out here uh, on exit now you can see christian ran it all the way out to the left just to uh, keep the wheel uh, as little scrub on the front as you as you can on exit there moves over to the right hand side for the run down into <clears throat> excuse me, into turn 5 A and B, which is probably your primary passing opportunity, uh, if I'm honest, uh, into the one of the heavier braking zones here. So as we approach the braking zone, we're looking to spot about the two board. And just after the two board, you'll see uh, a significant lift. And I say it's a, it's a hard braking zone, but you can see still it's only about 50%. Uh, but you don't do much more than that around here, actually. Now what I noticed here is um, quite an early turn in from Christian, which is quite a narrow attack angle here. Now that might be useful for you in a battle. If you are battling someone here and they're kind of close and you want to discourage it, you might take an early attack angle here. Or Christian has really shortcutted the, uh, or taken the shortest distance he can through to uh, the first of the two apexes here. And he's attacked that first one. Now you can be a little bit further over to the left. Uh, and kiss that curb if you want, just remembering you might want to lower your SPO a bit. Uh, and then really early on the gas, you can see they're hugging the inside of the circuit, uh, not pushing out too wide on exit either. So you can see because of that narrow uh, entry, it's quite a sharp turn once you get there, well over 90 degrees with the wheel and uh, full on the gas early. As I said, hugging the inside, looking to run it out and again you can see only about a little over a third of track distance between left to right a third of the distance across the track out to the right so not too worried about uh the track distance there or the uh the tracking out all right so this here uh at uh turn seven seven a seven b and eight it's a series of quarters uh the waterfall chicane here really a unique characteristic of this track not dissimilar to a lot of the u.s circuits here at barba where there's a, a bit of elevation change throughout and this is probably one of the most exciting ones now the previous uh sort of corner at turn five five a and five b as i said primary passing opportunity now depending how you exit that you will likely be side by side at different times during your racing experiences this week can i just caution you it's very difficult to manage this this series of corners on your own, let alone two by two. So have a real think about the uh, the strategic value of going two by two here. But let's look at how you do it on your, on your own. So as we approach, it's only a lift and a minor break. So you can see Christian's already turning in on full throttle before a lift and a, and a small break. Okay, you're probably looking at about 20, 25% 
before kissing the first eight, releasing and kissing the first apex. You'll see there's a little bit of maintenance throttle as he takes the curbs um, just to keep the car stable. Uh, a blip there to downshift into second. Riding the brakes here, you can see moving over to the left, you can take a quite a bit, as you can see, of this uh, this uh, middle part of the uh, the waterfall here. Uh, the, the center of the car you can see well and truly right pretty much bang center on the curbing and the left hand side left hand tire uh, a little bit out on the grass even and you can see there's a little bit of braking still going on here but the majority of that's done with the wheel dead center um, to keep uh, that stability as I said using the brake this time instead of the throttle to maintain stability and tapering off the brake as more steering input is is given into the car to make the final right hand turn here Onto the uh, the curbing, you can see the the inside right now, inside front tire now kissing the curb, and onto the gas really early as you come off, and the uh, suspension grips up. Really fun section of the circuit there, absolutely. So from there we're flat out, uh, flat out through this uh, chicane here at nine and ten, uh, and you can see we might. Even think about fifth in draft, but not really. If you're on your own, you're in fourth, maybe grab fifth in draft. That previous chicane, different lines. Uh, I'll just talk about it briefly. Uh, a lot of some people will open up the, 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 the corners here by moving further to the right. You see, Christian maintains about two thirds track width and, and easily does it flat. Kisses the first curb, doesn't worry too much about the second. Be careful out here on the left, there is grass which will upset your day. Uh, it'll just cost you a bit of time if you're careful. If you're not too careful, it'll be pretty brutal. All right, so we're moving over to open up this uh, this uh, next challenging part of the circuits to, for turns 11 and 12. Uh, quite fun in here to, when you get it right. So as we come down towards the one board, we're going to turn in at full throttle once again, about halfway towards the one board. Uh, lift off, no brake. All right, we're going to manage the rotation with the throttle and the stabilizing throttle there you can see is what Christian's using to manage the rotation of the car. More throttle means less rotation, okay? It just uh, induces a little bit of understeer. But as you aggressively lift off on the entrance there is where you get your rotation. So the aggressive lift off gives you the rotation in conjunction with the steering input. Kiss the curb on the inside half throttle there to maintain the stability of the car on the curbs and manage the rotation before coming back onto off the throttle i should say to rotate the car between the two apexes again no brake okay and then as we're on to the um the second apex the right hander there at, uh, at 12 you'll notice it's not full throttle application once again we're managing the stability of the car over the curbs, but we're also managing the throttle application such that we don't push out on exit of the corner as well. It's when the car gets off the curb, okay, the suspension's starting to, to grip up again or compress again and grip returning to the car and stability that we're on full gas and you can see all the way over to the left. You're looking to carry as much momentum as you can that'll push your car right out to the left on exit of, of turn 12. And, but I will caution you quite seriously about the grass on the outside here. That'll ruin your day as well. It's a very fine line here. Err on the side of caution when you're getting up to speed and in the early early laps of a stint, uh, push out onto the grass there at your own peril. Okay, from here, we're pretty flat through turn 13. Uh, and you can, you can actually go a little bit further to the right if you would like, uh, but not a great deal. You can cut that curb sort of through the middle of the corner if you would like, uh, but as you can see, not so necessary. Now you'll notice up on the right there, you can see it up in the distance, there's kind of a gap between the, the fence on the outside, the armco there, the metal fencing. That's a, a pretty good reference for how you're gonna set up for the, the penultimate corner there at 14. A. We're actually sweeping through 14. The corner part of it, though, that you're setting up for is 14A. So as we progress, about that hole in the wall or, or the, the armco on the right there, you can see there's a gap where, I don't know, a service vehicle or people might, flag marshals might come through. Uh, that's your reference here. And you'll see at about that point, there's a lift 
Okay, and watch as the brake comes on, you'll see the steering input shifts from right hand down to take uh, the right hand sweeping part of 14. And as we approach 14A, the wheel distinctly straightens as the brake comes on. The idea here is you want to, as often as you can in principle, brake in a straight line. Okay, for the for the braking phase before the turning phase. So it might only be, you know, uh, a 10% brake application as it, as it is here, but to maintain the efficiency of the braking and the stability of the car as much as possible, um, straightens up the wheel, holds the braking, and then is shifted down a gear there in a second. And as um, the brake comes off or the steering input comes on for 14A here, the penultimate corner, uh, you'll see the brakes off, the rotation, and early application of throttle. You can see here at 14A, we're on full throttle well before the apex here, uh, which is a good sign because you full throttle here through to turn one. And at turn one, of course, as we said, was uh, one of the, the passing opportunities here at Barber. So as we continue, we're only going to track out a very marginal way here. We're, not, we're probably a third at most. And the idea is that as we progress through, just before um, the, uh, the, the curbing on the outside of the final corner, we're already turning in. That's kind of your reference, your turn in reference. And then we're holding it flat, as I said, from the, the prior to the apex of the previous corner all the way through. Now you can, you can kiss that curb on the inside, but you can see with the, uh, with the early turn in here and uh, the constant application of throttle, uh, you've got the combination of attacking the corner, shortcutting it into the apex there, but the uh, understeer induced by the full throttle application will push you through and out to the uh, far side of the exit uh, of the final corner. And with an exit like that, you set yourself up pretty well um, to finish your lap. And that's the lap, folks. That's, uh, that's how they do it at the top top of the tree, as they say. Uh, and of course, as I said, Christian is uh, uh, an awesome driver and uh, it's great to be able to work with him to, to run through these lap guides. But folks, uh, that might just about do us. Thanks for joining us here at Infinite Racing Services. Uh, great to be back in conjunction with Christian doing these lap guides and hopefully uh, they'll be of some use. But enjoy your racing here at Barber Motorsports Park this week. Should be an interesting uh, turnout to uh, challenge one of the, the more enjoyable tracks and hopefully we get good participation as a result. Uh, but for now, folks, and until next time, I'm Alex McKellar and on behalf of Christian Perez, I'll say ciao for now.